Fomlox all started as my graduation project. I was trying to find a way to reduce e-waste and I had an idea for a new kind of phone. It was really just an idea. I mean, the model I made was just a solid block of aluminum. But I knew I could never develop this phone myself. But I didn't want the idea to just die. So in order to push it forward, I made a video, built a website, set up a Thunder Clap and put everything online in the hope that someone would make it or continue with it. And today that's exactly one year ago. The moment I put it online, it exploded on the internet. Thank you Reddit. I was not prepared for this. The website was crappy built and got offline within 10 minutes. So I sent out a tweet to the world asking for help. And Gaben replied. It was, wasn't that bad, the first website. The only problem was that it was really, really slow. Especially slow with a thousand people. And then if you have a hundred thousand people on your site, you have a big problem. Uh, I work at CISO uh, as a manager of the development department. So we manage websites. So I called Dave and in 30 minutes uh, we helped him uh, get his website uh, back online. So you're the nerd of phone blocks? Yeah, I'm def definitely the nerd of phone blocks. <laughs> the original goal of 500 supporters ended up with a bit more. At this point we got contacted by lots of crowdfund websites and investors, pushing us to raise capital. However, it wasn't our goal to set up a new phone company. We believe it has much more impact if we can change the mindset of existing companies, using the voices of people to inspire an entire industry to work on modular electronics. So we got excited when we saw other modular phone concepts popping up. That was our whole point, getting companies interested in this idea. Basically a way to update your phone component by component. And we got very excited to learn about Project ARA. They are making a huge step by showing the world it's technically possible to build a modular phone. So we've been good friends and dropped by to share updates with you. Meanwhile, Phoneblocks launched its online community, a place for people to discuss and share ideas about the modular phone. And we got a new team member helping us out. So, uh, my name is Thomas. Uh, I live in Gothenburg. We're at my apartment right now, where I work from. Uh, mostly answering emails, posting stuff on our social media, answering questions or receiving feedback, sourcing material, and uh, stuff like that. If we get a reply on Facebook, you're the guy who's replying. Yes. And other people from all over the world joined to help us out. Do you need the English boys? No, thank you. We were on the road a lot, talking about phone blocks, spreading the word and looking for new partners. Two museums bought a Phoneblocks model, we won the social vote of the Design of the Year award, and we partner with Sennheiser. Together with the Phoneblocks community, they are sourcing your ideas to develop an audio blog. Meanwhile, Google has been working hard on Project ARA, which went from a bulky prototype into a bootable phone, and we showed you our full vision, modularity applied in all our electronics. It was a fruitful year for the modular phone. I guess we're most proud of seeing modularity taking off, becoming a movement. A huge movement that is able to inspire big companies to work in this direction. Do you want to add? No, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's engaging in phone blocks and engaging in our social media and works to, to drive this, this project forward because it's it's uh, without our social following uh, and the members are on our forum, we would be we would be nothing. And uh, so thank you.